Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first use of the Ion Alpha Plus. So this is one with two batteries. I prefer it in an eight inch hole. I really don't fish for big enough fish to do the 10 inch hole, but this is the 40 volt. This is their latest and greatest. That's why they're calling it the Alpha. So this is like their third gen version. Uh, the box is pretty heavy because it's got all the batteries and charger and stuff in it, but I'm interested to see how actually light this thing is. I have not charged it, I have not done anything with it. So we're just gonna unbox it. And we're gonna go through like only a couple of inches of ice here because the weather's been terrible here. But Ion was thankful enough to send me this over because when I saw the price tag of $7.99 years ago when they were like first coming out, I just almost fell over. So they're super expensive, but they got a, I think a three year warranty on them. Something like that. Three year warranty, yeah. Three year warranty, weighs less than 16 pounds, up to 3.4 inches per second of cutting speed. And it's got that two handles and you can do up to 2000 inches per charge. That's what this is for. I'm not gonna be one of those people that's gonna go drill a hundred holes for you guys to show you guys what it does. I don't even have enough ice to prove that right now, but this is going to be my overnight auger. And then my pistol bit, which I'm gonna do an unboxing video, leave that one below. That's gonna be my run and gun auger with my Milwaukee drill. So let's get right into it. Oh, it comes with some parts and it looks like uh, some instructions. We're gonna dish that. Looks like I do have to put some stuff together, that's unfortunate. But in order to fit the power head in here, I'm sure they had to, uh, to make some stuff work. So we got the auger with a composite flight and a nice cover right now. And I'm just gonna pop that off and show you guys the, the composite front of this. This is what's making this so light. Instead of using steel like a lot of the other companies do, they do make one with steel if you wanna carry around some extra weight. There's really no reason for it anymore. But it's got that center point and it's got two razor sharp blades on there, of course, uh, to shave ice instead of break ice. So I'm gonna keep myself safe here by putting the cover back on. Snap that back on, that goes on pretty easy. And I have tip-ups literally all around me, so my, my head's on a swivel. But this is the power head, this is quite a beast. And so if you look at the Milwaukee and DeWalt drills, they are not, if you've ever cut a hole, a four inch hole saw through something, that's a severe amount of torque. I've actually burned out my Milwaukee once already. Uh, luckily it was under replacement, but you know, this is made to cut through ice. It's not made to go drill through the dirt or anything like that. It's made to do this kind of things. So let's uh, read the manual, I guess. But it's got two big old batteries. They're 40 volt. They actually come pre-charged. It's got a little voltage checker right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll come a little bit closer. It's got a little battery checker light right there. And it's some sitting in my cold truck. So I know a lot of these batteries and a lot of lithium batteries to begin with unless they're heated, they don't do well in the cold. But um, we'll see how this does well in the cold. I'm not one of those people that will put it in my pocket. I'll just change for another battery if I need to. Let's open the Ziploc. Comes with a charger, pretty, pretty straightforward and standard. Plugs into a wall, one battery at a time. And I'll leave the link for obviously Ion, this below on Amazon and through Ion's website, of course. But let's figure out how to put the power head on here comes with two allen wrenches which is already making me nervous three allen wrenches so it has one that sits on there i'm guessing we take this one out right here which is also the the shear pin so if you're looking at replacing these make sure you buy the right grade if they do break i doubt they would but and i think these couple extra screws and nuts here are for this battery protective handle that goes i'm guessing on just like that that's just literally for packaging reasons so let's do those as well we'll make you watch the whole thing Stick that through. 
and there's no fish to be caught right now. It's ridiculous. We have this, we have a huge pressure front coming in right now. Um, so nothing is moving. There's no birds even chirping right now. Let's pop a battery in. Which, it's got a little, got a little uh, fail safe device here to keep the batteries locked out. And also locked in, I'm guessing. There we go. Let's put those tools away. Let's take the cover off. And the reason I said this is going to be my overnight setup is because I'll kill two Milwaukee batteries, the five amp hour ones, for the pistol bit, or the KJO, which is what I'm using now. And the higher the voltage, the lower the amperage, the less these things have to work. So this has a gear reduction ratio in it. And uh, let's just see how she rips. That is, that is nice. That is freaking cool, guys. That like, takes like no effort at all. So trigger first and then your top button is your actual pressure. And I'm not gonna drill too many holes next to my feet here because it's not a lot of ice. But that's awesome. There is a small delay between when I press this and press the trigger. It's about a one second, and I'm not sure why it does that, but it's kind of funky. I'd expect it to just like kick immediately. And then it's got a, a reverse lever as well. And it's got a little light under there, which is pretty cool. So that's the unboxing and first use. I'm really impressed on how much that thing didn't want to rip out of my hand because I think it has those shaver blades. What I'm used to is that the Kjo has those chipper blades. I'll put it to a real test this winter when we get, you know, a foot of ice or something like that and I'll try to I'll do a run and gun trip with it, which is what I do for the most part. You guys know I don't like just sit there. So, that's it. I'll leave a link for the Ion Alpha and stuff below. It is a uh, you know, you could easily put that that 10 inch on on here and it I mean, it would just rip through some ice. Thanks for watching.